you guys. Uh, you're in the garage. We're just we're just in practice today, and uh, we're just we're just wrestling and, and we're working on stuff. Um, today we're going to have an offensive day, but before we kind of get into the whole offensive system, um, it's important to like make sure you identify a couple of like minor tweaks or different things that you want to work on. Uh, Christopher today is working on claw ride um, specifically. He wants me to kind of put pressure on and get this claw ride on and give him different types of looks, and then we'll probably jump into kind of some more technical. Uh, technical coaching as we go. So you guys are in the garage, just enjoy and, and uh, watch in. So I'm gonna go probably about uh, 80% to, to start. I'm just gonna give you a good look and um, make sure you have you know different types of looks too. So, but the main thing is, is you're talking about this kind of claw, right? Yeah. Yeah, what about your, your side of claw? Anybody doing that? Not really. Just cross claw to you? Okay, there you go.
you're working your way down. Yeah, then you turn that hip just like you did. Go back here. If you don't, if you go to this side, if you, you can't, if you turn that hip, it's more like you're gonna turn your hip and kind of run out, run out and do an escape. But if you turn your hip the other way, yeah, you're still in the lap, but you set yourself up for reversal. Yeah. So yeah, you'll you'll want to cross reach first, kind of a little bit. So keep your chest forward. Yep. Go post with this hand. Like, like just post it here. Yep. Yep. Oh. Is, is someone there? Is he gonna Post and then and then bring it in. So after you post. Heel, now elbow, elbow, yeah. Now you're in this position. Okay. Am I gonna walk here? Yeah. Maybe you can just hang on. Okay. Right? So it's then it's Merkel position, right? Mm -hmm. So so just by example, if I had this, really what you would do is you'd bring your hips out. That would be the best. Yeah. Just look at the position here. Now look, if you just grab legs, you're gonna push. But if you grab that high wrist, right there, yep. Now walk your legs out. Okay? You're here. And you can even hook my elbow or whatever. It takes to kind of have that hand, right? Mm -hmm. Same here. Here, guys, you sit here and claw this position. Okay? If you feel like you can jump over this hip, step on the foot, jump over that hip right away. Now, catch, catch elbow, catch wrist. From here, I'm in this position. Very good position. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Here, big claw. Here, I'm cross reaching. Peel, the guy goes Merkel, right there. This this is gonna happen a lot where guys go Merkel. Now, we gotta know what kind of the proper technique is, okay? If I come out to this side here, okay? It's, actually right now, you don't even have to worry about the wrist because because of where you're at. So, on this side, you actually want to turn to the legs. Here, turn to the legs. But if I were to come out, when he has a Merkel, if I were to come out to this side, okay? I'm either gonna be running all the way out and just being in kind of a chokehold Merkel position, or I can catch him on his back here by grabbing bottom wrist. That's the side we want for the Merkel. Yeah. For the Grand, for the Peterson, or whatever you guys call it. Here, so here. Now, you you peel my arm, and as you as you peel my arm, I go clean. Oh, sorry. Here, here. So now we're in Merkel position. So there's two big differences. One is if your hips come out to the right, right here, then you want to go all towards my legs. Yeah, you want to just stay focused towards my legs. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, and I can't. If you stay on my legs like that, you're gonna win there. Okay. Versus the other side here. Okay, you, you would actually if you if you jump your hips out the other side, and you want to make sure you block that, like block my leg, go back again. You really want to make sure you push this down, push that down, pops your legs out. Now catch bottom wrist. Yeah, and if you can, you can just yeah, you hook it the best you can, and then have that leg here. Okay. The thing you want to be careful of is if you don't hook this, okay, and you just focus on my legs, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this vertical position here, okay, and now his job is gonna be different. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's go back to an 80% look. Go. Cool. Make that hip shift. See how I switch my hip down? Now I get deep, 
Now I make sure when I turn, it definitely didn't happen. Okay, and I'm deep like. So just do that little hip hip exchange one time. It'll make a big difference for you. So if you're here, you know, I got vertical position, do a big hip change there. Yeah, and as you do that, this pushes the elbow down deeper so that that way, yeah, so now that can go up. Yeah. Just remember this, that one pushes, but your other one just goes up. It doesn't hang on. Here, pushes. See if it hangs on, I'll get it to hang on. Don't let the, don't hang on with this. So this one just goes elbow up. So elbow up this way. Yep. There, there, yeah. But don't hang on with this. Yeah. Oh shoot. Here. Okay. Hand change. Now. Elbow up. Just like this. Okay. I don't do this. Elbow up. Here. Up. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You got the technique right. The only thing you need to do different is the hip change. Good for top, a little bit. Some more look. Sure. Go. Step. So you have my foot. You already have it. Now walk your hips out. There. Now you can just elevate. No, keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Now just elevate that leg. You don't worry about gravity right now. Just, just, just elevating my leg to the top and watch. Follow me. Other side. There. Here. So you're right here. You step on that foot. You get your hips off. Look, if I get this foot, elevate. Once my hips are out, I just elevate this foot. Okay? It's a little bit different than, you know, catching his wrist. Okay? You can be there, but we don't even worry about it. If you're just trying, if you're just getting that reversal, making sure you're guaranteed to get out, then elevate that foot. Okay, yeah, you can turn into him here. Okay. There's wind. I have a claw on this side. So you were fighting claw here, and I went like this to you. Boom, here. Okay, so you, you did a good job. You went to the post side. You went to this side. Here. Okay, you didn't, don't worry about that. Hip close. There you go. Step on my foot. Yeah, hips out, hips come out. Catch the outside of my toe. See how extended you were? Like this. I'm going to pull you back. Don't be extended. So you're here. Okay, yeah, there. Now you the foot. Now I'm in trouble. Now I don't have options. So I'm going to go this way. I'm probably going to let go. Go this way. You're going to have to elevate that thing so that when you turn, you're, you're in position to score. So when you let go, you're in position to score. So let go. Okay. Here, I got your cross reaches and peels. I'm probably going to come back here, forward, this side, okay? One of the main things you can do is just not let me in in the first place. So jump on top of me. Okay, back up here. Okay, right away I'm already I'm already going you know kind of cracking down there, making sure you know you don't have a great position to, to score. Also, another thing I can do is like an elevator. Um, or as soon as you go to go clock, okay. So come back. That's it. That's it. As soon as you go to go clock, I move that hand out. Okay. Now I'm, all I'm going to do is elevate the inside of this foot here. Okay, and get a reversal. Okay, let's go over that real quick. So over here, okay, deep, right? When you feel that claw coming in, okay, I just move my hand out of the way a little bit, begin to tuck my, tuck my uh, hip under, and a lot of people think like, oh, well, that's, that's gonna be a tight race. Don't worry about this, okay? What's gonna happen is as you scoop your hip, okay, you're gonna elevate him here, okay, and what I wanna do is if I can, come inside the leg, here, just like switch. Okay, but a lot of times, just the pressure alone, you can put him in this position, okay? Where you can me on top. Okay, so this is kind of a tricky one. It's called an elevator, but it's a good one to do. Like, if you found, like, no matter what happens, every time I claw you, you get rid of it, claw you again. And then all you gotta do is you're gonna move. You see, you feel that claw coming in here. You're gonna take this hand back. So you feel the claw coming in like this. You're gonna take this hand, you're gonna move it over here, and walk, move your body forward a little bit. Here, it's how you should get short instead of being full. Okay, set. Okay, here. Boom, right there. Okay, from this position, turn your hip down. Put the inside of my foot, my knee. There, okay. And you're going to elevate your foot. There. It's the reversal. Here. This position. Okay, now, you feel like it's tight waist, so as soon as, as, soon as I get to your tight waist, you've got to make sure that's pinched so you can hook in here. 
So you can elevate yourself. Oh, my head here. So now you come to the leg here. And squat. Now, okay. 